is Miss Kelly. I'm so happy to get to start lessons with y'all. And I know we can't be together, but I'm happy that we're going to get to do some lessons together. You will see my cats. <laughs> they will be in and out through this whole thing the whole time we are learning this way. This is Sam. Sam, he's, he's confused. <laughs> he, he's He's very confused, but today we're going to learn about the letter F. Now, before we get started, we're going to read Animal Alphabet. Now, I know we've read this in the room. It's a class favorite, but we're going to go ahead and read it. It's by Cooper Duke and Nell Duke, and you need to really pay attention because you get to try to figure out the answers and you get to try to figure out what the pictures are. And what I want you to do is when I ask you a question, I want you to tell me your answer, okay? I want you to tell me your answer. All right. For, our, for each letter of the alphabet, let me see if I can get in here better. For each letter of the alphabet, this book shows an animal whose name starts with that letter. When you see the letter, make the sound that goes with the letter. Keep that sound in mind and look at the part of the animal that's on the page and try to predict what this picture is. All right, guys. We have the letter A. What do you think this is? It's an ant. B. What do you think it is? Butterfly. Very good. What's this? C. What do you think this is? Can you see it? Oh, I have three of these. I think I know what this is. Yep, I was right. It's a cat. Look at that. Cute little kitty cat. Then we have the letter D. Oh. I know Miss Audra has a new one of these at her house. I think I know what it is. It's a doggy. Look at the doggy. He looks like a very happy doggy. What's this letter? E. This is an E. Now, this picture might trick you because you might want to say it's a bird, but it's a different kind of bird. It's a specific type of bird, actually. It's an e eagle. There we go. Then we have F. This is the letter we're doing today. F. And an F says f, 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 f. Just like this. What do you think this is? It's a fish. It's a shiny, shiny fish. This is the letter G, and this, what do you think that is? A g, g, g. <gasps> gorilla. Can you see it? <laughs> it's a gorilla. Now we have a H. H. What do you think this is? Let's see if you're right. It's a horse. That's a pretty horse. Pretty brown horse. This is the letter I. And this looks like a lizard, but it's not a lizard. It's an iguana. Look at him. He's too cool to be on that page, I think he's thinking. Then we have the letter J. This was my middle daughter's favorite animal when she was little. It's a jellyfish. Look at that pretty pink jellyfish. I love it. Now we have a K. K, K, K. Do you know what this is? I know you can kind of see through the paper where the sun's shining. This is a kangaroo. There's two kangaroos. That kangaroo has a baby in its pouch. Then we have the letter L. 
And letter L is for, this one's kind of hard if you couldn't see through it. It's a lobster. A lobster. This is the letter M. And what do you think this picture is? It's a mouse. If you hear that, my washing machine's going. <laughs> this is the letter N. This is a very hard picture. Do you think you can figure out what that picture is? This is a narwhal. And a narwhal starts with an N. Then we have the easiest letter. Yeah, it's an O. Looks like a circle. And what do you think this picture is? Do you know? It's an ostrich. An ostrich. Uh, then we got the letter P. What do you think this animal is? Hmm, I bet you know. You know, don't ya? It's a pig. Oh my goodness. Then we have the letter Q. Q. A Q says qu. Qu. Do you know what this is? It's another one that looks like a bird, and it is a bird, but it's a specific type of bird. It's the quail. There's a quail and three quail eggs. One, two, three. Now we have the letter R. Ooh, you know what this is? It's a raccoon. Look at the little raccoon. That's adorable. Now we have the letter S. This is not the picture I would have chosen for this, but I didn't write this book, so. Do you know what this is? Think really, really, really hard. It's a, you know what it is now? <laughs> it's a squid. It looks like an octopus, but it's actually a squid. Then we have the letter T. T, -t, 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 -t. I bet you know what that is. I bet you know. Yeah. It's a turtle. Can you see the turtle? There's the turtle. Then we have the letter U. The letter U. There's the picture for the letter U. I wonder what this is. Do you know what it is just by looking at the picture? It's a bird. It's an umbrella bird. Who knew? An umbrella bird. Then we have a V. There's the V picture. Do you know what it is? Looks like another bird. This has a lot of birds in it. It's a vulture. A vulture. Then we have a W. You know what this is? I think this one's pretty easy. Some of you may have been playing with them while you've been at home. It's a worm. It's a worm. Now we have this letter. What's this letter? An X. Do you know what this is? This actually has the letter X at the end. And an X says X. So this has the letter at the end that says X. And it's a fox. A fox. Then we have the letter Y. And do you know what this is? It looks like a hairy cow. It's a yak. Look at those big horns on that yak. My goodness. Then we have our very, very last letter. What letter is that? A Z. And what animal do you think this is? I think you can figure it out. It's a zebra. Very good. Did you get much, many of those animals? I bet you got a lot of them. I love this book, and I know we go through it a few times at school, but it's awesome. It's good to get our memory and our guessing and our thinking skills going. I also want to say happy birthday. We've had two birthdays since we've been out, 
Ainsley had a birthday in March. So happy birthday, Ainsley. And Adeline had a birthday this week. So happy birthday, Adeline. My goodness, y'all are getting so big and so grown. And my goodness, I hope y'all had a great, great, great birthday. Now, we are going to talk about the letter F. Just a few more, just a little bit more. Um, we have this. We have a capital F and a lowercase f. The F says Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take 10 seconds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my fingers. And when I hold up 10 fingers, we're going to say a word that starts with the letter F or as many words as we can think of, okay? Are you ready? We're thinking of this letter F. Everybody do that with me. F's kind of hard because you don't really hear a sound. You just have to push out air. Okay, ready? Think in your mind. Think of a word that starts with the letter F. Here we go. Do you have a word? This is Seth. Seth does not start the letter F. <laughs> I don't think, you've not seen Seth before, but that's Seth. Okay, I want you to tell me your word that starts with F. That is a great word that starts with F. I thought of fish and food and fry, apparently I'm hungry, and finish and Friday and fin. I thought of six. So you, later you can work with your mamas or daddies or whoever you want to work with and see if you can find some more words that start with the letter F. Also, what I want us to do, if I can get back and forth. There we go. Okay, you see the sheet? I'm going to point to the letter. You're going to tell me if it's the letter F. Okay? Get down. Get down. There we go. Okay. So, is this the letter F? Yes, that's a letter F. Is this F? No, what letter is that? A G. Is this an F? No, what letter is that? An A. Is this an F? No, what letter is it? A C. Is this an F? No, oh yes! Yes, I was trying to see if you was paying attention. Yes, that's an F. That's a capital F. Is this an F? No, that's a, the letter D. Is this an F? Yep, that's an F. Is this an F? No, that's the letter B. Is this an F? This one's tricky because it kind of looks like an F, but it has an extra line. So is it an F? No, this is an E, like in Ella's name. E. Very good. You knew all your letters. Very good. Now, you have a paper to, that you can do if you want to with your mamas and daddies or whoever you're staying with. Um, this is the sheet for today there's two if you have the packet if you don't have the packet i have the links that you can go find it you can fill in the missing letters so i want you to practice writing your name because you're getting so good at it and mamas and daddies if you want to trace it in a yellow crayon so they can trace over it that's great um, and then i want you to put either a capital f or a lowercase f in the blanks okay then you can color the picture. On the other page for today, we have a math sheet for today. And all this is Easter egg dot to dot. You start the number one and then you count all the way around to the number 14. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen. You trace it and then you get to color it. And then if you want to, you do not have to do this at all. 
but mamas and daddies, if you want to, you can make a picture of your kid holding the, the paper if you want to, and you can send it to me. And only if you want me to, um, and I can put it on the, on the, um, story wall page if you want me to that would be great so everybody can see their work but i won't put it up there unless you give me permission to do it because i wouldn't do that okay that is it all the links to the twisty noodle to starfall where you can do the letter f and all the other letters you can have and the jack hartman syllable month song which the kids love you can like use it for february but they love to do it so anything jack hartman but i'll leave the link to the um that one of their favorite videos in the description and on the uh, what is it the class dojo page all i can see is seth back here seth come here seth he does not listen <laughs> anyway that's today's lesson i hope that it went well for you. Let me know how it's going, if the class dojo's working, if I can get it uploaded, if it works. Okay, I will see you tomorrow for another lesson. Bye.